beachfront modular homes. In the states of New Jersey and New York, people's general perception of modular homes might be the mobile homes at trailer parks, not the charming beachfront communities. However, since Hurricane Sandy smashed many houses along the northeast coast, modular home builders perceive an uptick in demand. They hope this will translate into a long-term business, especially as new federal flood maps and insurance rates force more homeowners to elevate the structures of their residencies. Under this situation, many older beach bungalows won't survive being raised, since those owners may choose to replace them with the new and easy to build modular homes that are fabricated in factories and shipped in sections to the building sites. Architects express that the improved quality control and the ability to utilize materials in different ways have helped the modular construction industry to raise its buildings up to the design standards of the city. The homes also have custom features such as decks and large windows. John Westrom, a Pennsylvania suburban modular home builder, hopes to build 3,000 homes up and down the Jersey Shore. Single-family modular homes aren't necessarily less expensive than traditional construction, but they may save time because they can be built in the factory while owners are waiting for demolition and foundation work. Once the modules are completed and transported to the sites, it will take only a day or two to bolt the pieces into place. This is not a trailer park home. This is a well-designed manufactured home. Side by side to a sick built home, it'd be hard pressed to figure out which one is which, said Arthur Whitehall, general manager of the community co-op in Queens. Most of those who lost their homes in New York City and Staten Island have yet to start rebuilding, so it is too early to tell if modular homes will be an important part of the rebuilding. New York City has been a tough market to crack because the streets are too narrow for maneuvering 14-foot wide homes, developers are unfamiliar with the process, and labor unions have resisted this project because their members are being paid less for factory work. Michael Felling and his wife decided to build a modular home seven feet in the air after docks smashed into their 90-year-old wooden house. It took about a week to build their new home in the factory and it was delivered to them from Pennsylvania a month ago. They plan to move in right after contractors finish with final touches and install the fireplace. He does not miss his old house. Many people are still concerned about the quality, the fire-resistant feature and the sacrifice of interior space to the bulky materials of the modular homes. Will modular homes be a big hit? It is uncertain, so we will have to wait and see.